next Saturday to Southampton. And if they can add consistency to the skill and enthusiasm the side showed on Saturday, then there'll not be a side in the country who look forward to their visit. Well, Borough didn't simply beat Leeds, they totally outplayed them. Manager Lenny Lawrence said it was the most professional performance he'd ever been associated with. Leeds boss Howard Wilkinson said Middlesbrough were the better team in all departments. Well, the popular view may have been that Borough were taking the field as lambs to the slaughter. And Leeds almost confirmed that early on, as an attack saw Rod Wallace brushing aside the defence, but shooting just wide. Well, Leeds are not averse to mixing skill with physical play, but they paid the price when a free kick led to Borough's first goal. Wright's perfect cross was met by Paul Wilkinson. Give him an inch, and he'll take a goal. Borough's delight. Well, not from nothing for Middlesbrough. Wilkinson slid in to convert the Tommy Wright cross, and he got that telling touch on the end of the. And Lukic was really helpless. Middlesbrough won, Leeds United nil. After only eight minutes of this game. It obvious, the game just eight minutes old. Again, Middlesbrough breaking the long ball down. And into touch. Chris Firecliffe not wanting to play the safe ball back to John Lukic. Lukic couldn't have picked Architect again a minute later. Another classic cross splitting the Leeds defence down the middle. And Wilkinson again reacts faster than anyone else. Cross from the left hand side. The defence missed the ball completely. Another look at that goal from John Lukic's point of view. No cover for him at all. Wilkinson throwing himself at the ball. Well, Leeds were not without their moments, mind you. Danger man Eric Cantona firing just beyond the outstretched iron side. Another attack from last season's champions. Rod Wallace in the thick of it all again but I inside equal to the final effort. For 2-0. ball by White to Chapman. Flick on. Turning in there. Chris ball to Cantona. Cantona, first time shot. Great save by Ironside. And within 30 seconds of starting this second half, United pushing forward, looking to pull back this 2-0 deficit. And back on the attack in the second half. John Hendry, the former Leeds player, was enjoying the afternoon as much as most, and the corner he forced led to Borough's third goal. Tommy Wright, twice the provider in this match, gets his reward, a virtual free header, leaving Lukic for dead. How flat-footed the Leeds defence was, clearly seen from behind the goal. Wright, one of the smallest... The direct route to goal for number four. Ian Ironside's clearance fell for Tommy Wright, whose ball tore Leeds apart once again. And John Hendry finished the job, keeping his head and balance to grab his own personal bit of glory. And quite a way to celebrate a goal too. Again from behind the goal and John Hendry, who admitted he was really fired up for the game, turning the defence inside out. Berra almost put the icing on the cake shortly before the end when the ball found its way square across the Leeds defence, leaving Jamie Pollock to unleash a great effort. And Dorigo to take the throw in for Leeds United. Leeds got a consolation through the classy Cantona, but by then the game was well and truly out of their reach. That claim, Mr. Lawrence, was the most professional performance he had been associated with in 10 years of management. We hit a new standard today. Performance as I've ever been associated with. That brilliant day for the club, for Teesside and for all the players as well. Tremendous performance when you consider the status of the opposition. Well, it's always nice to beat your old club. I mean, uh, as I said, I didn't expect to beat them 4-1. I mean, we're pleased just to beat them, but 4-1 something special. And it's nice for the fans here. Probably.